Welcome back. I am Jason LeDuc from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. This is Geeks Are Sexy, fourth Friday of the month, talking about business and how to be successful here in Las Vegas. We're back with Emily, Emily Wilson Hi. of Emily Wilson Photography. We've talked about all kinds of things. We were talking about drones before. It turns out producer <laughs> Nick knows a little bit about drones, so he was given a, given some advice and they were swapping some stories while we were on the break. Before I before I throw it out to you guys from now on, I'm going to ask producer Nick for some help. So, so but that's a, that's my mistake that I should have done that myself. Uh, so, really, what your job is about, in my opinion, is about sharing stories and sharing experiences. Right. What are the kinds your th kinds of things you're thinking about when you're behind the camera about how you're going to share this experience and make this experience connect with people you may not even know are going to see it? Right. So I'm always looking for the moment of why would somebody care about this? So I'm trying to find that moment. Mm -hmm. And then why somebody would care about it? And then, you know, is this, is this perspective into this person, this window of this world? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, you know, I, with the, whether it's boxers or racers or mm -hmm. the, the, uh, Justice Stiglitz, who I mm -hmm. uh, was profiling her at, at work, you know, I just, you just have a feeling about. It's an intuition. You, right. you, you, an intuition you develop over time. It's not, it's not something you're born with, I would guess. It's something you develop over time of, there's something special about this person. There, there's a, there's a, why would someone care about this? And, right. And and it's hard to describe, you know. Given given some time and and a couple of drinks, you could probably sit down and write out a list of these are like if I really had to think about it, these are the things I'm looking for, right? right. And if you if someone said you got to teach a class on this, you could do it, but right. but it's something you develop over time as a photographer, as an artist. It's not something that that not, not very many people are born with, I would say, I would guess. Well, and you have to be a good listener. So it, you know, you're a good listener and then patient. So. You have to get somebody's build that trust mm -hmm. so that you can kind of see that deeper story and you can photograph, you know, in places where they are, where they just think it's mundane, but it's mm -hmm. actually a moment that you're seeing in a different way and that you realize other people can connect with. And right. And you just, it's just sort of that like, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not the only one, you know, yeah. that, that is, you know, doing it this way, making these choices. And, you know, this person is, is, is been successful at it and, you know, okay, let me just stay the course. Mm -hmm. you know? So cool. Um, I thought of a question while you were talking about that. Um, we talked about lighting a little bit earlier. We talked about trying to capture that perfect moment, right? Have you ever had to, I know there are some photographers who go like they'll go back to a place day after day after day trying to get that perfect shot, mm. get that lighting just right, especially in nature photography. Right. Have you ever had an experience like that where you've had to say, it's not right today, we got to come back tomorrow? Well, unfortunately, because I photograph people mm -hmm. and their schedules are the the main thing that I'm always mm -hmm. working around. Um, no, I can't go back, but I can you know, I, what I will say in, I think, about every shoot is, okay, I'm just going to take a couple more, and then I take, and then we're, like, working 10 more minutes. Like, when I say, okay, we're, we're about done, like, just going to take it, like, no, we're actually not about done. <laughs> because... <laughs> we have a lot more work to do. Yeah, as soon as I say that, I sort of, you know, this Rolodex of, of like, images just flips in my mind of, like, okay, what have we captured? What have we covered? We covered everything. You know, if if I'm able to, I'll check the notes that I've made mm -hmm. about what I want to, you know, what I want to capture in the shoot. And, you know, I always want to go above and beyond mm -hmm. what an assignment is, um, what a job is. And um, so I just really will keep shooting until either the light's gone <laughs> You know, or or they just I, or, can't. Or they just can't do anymore. Or right, right. Or it's just yeah. Or the moment is gone. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever have trouble 
um, because we're all conscious of our self-image. Do you ever have trouble with your subjects, especially like portraiture kind of stuff, getting right. them to relax and really be themselves? Oh, yeah. How do you deal with that? Absolutely. So my favorite thing to do is to, you know, when I walk in to, um, to a location for a shoot, you know, I never walk in with my camera. I never, I just, I walk in, I'm not holding anything. And mm -hmm. I really try to just engage with the person on a human level, you know, not necessarily talking about the weather, but, mm -hmm. you know, just really just putting aside any sort of big personality or, um, uh, whether it's a big personality or whether it's somebody that's really nervous, you know, if I just, if I walk in, not as somebody who's going to immediately start taking pictures, mm -hmm. but as just another person who is like, yeah, down to earth, I'm easy to talk to. I really do, mm -hmm. you know, and, and with the stuff that I do, I really do care about mm -hmm. meeting the people that I do. And, um, whether that is an assignment that's, or, or a personal project. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I always want my, um, you know, my genuine interest in what we're doing to, to come out. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, I imagine sometimes the person paying you to take the pictures is not the person you're taking the picture of, and that, sure. that can lead to some of that sometimes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, I always just try to connect. It's very cool. With the person. Yeah. Very cool. Well, let's shift it into a little bit of the business mode, since this is a business show, after all. Mm -hmm. um, what's a tough decision you had to make with your business? Ooh. And how did, how did you work your way through that? Well, um, you know, like you said, how we met. We met um, at our friends. At uh, Steve's. Hi, Steve. Yeah. And Alex, I saw you. I didn't, for, I didn't forget about you there. So we met uh, at a Think Global event. And, uh, you know, so Think Global really helped me... Um, edit out the stuff that I didn't want to shoot, which meant mm -hmm. pushing to the side clients that were making requests that I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. I've yeah. been there. Yeah. And so, yeah, I think, you know, some of the hardest stuff is, is just, is not doing the things that are, you know, that happen every day in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. You know, you could be, you know, you could be such, you know, a, so busy doing all kinds of stuff that you don't want to do for sure yeah for and sure. so so really honing in um on what it is that drives you mm -hmm. uh what keeps you passionate um in in those moments where it's a 10-hour day and then you have to turn around a, a quick edit for the client that night you know when you get home yeah. and it's a 15-hour day um, yeah, you have to, right. You have to love what you do. That's awesome. So yeah. speaking of pushing the things to the side that we don't want to do and bringing in the things you, we do want to do, what's coming up for you? What are the projects you're excited about working on for the next few months? So I've got some stuff going on with the boxing. Um, some, some friends that have, uh, were amateurs are turning pro and they're having some big fights. So I'm going to try and just really work and get those shots, um, outside of the gym um we've got some really cool stuff coming first of the year uh with uh meow wolf do you know meow wolf? i don't um they're out of santa fe they do immersive art um, okay experiences and so they're going to be bringing something to las vegas next year and they've contacted me about um documenting a lot of the artists uh they're going to commission and their okay. process and their uh, community um, engagement that they're going to have. So super excited about that. That sounds exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I've got, I've got my list of uh, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that I'm going to tell their stories. And That's get great. Them out there. And, we need that uh, here in Las Vegas. Yeah. So, and all of that just keeps me moving in the direction that then assignments come that, that um, complement that. All right. So before we go, we're wrapping it up, but who are you looking to connect to in the Las Vegas community? Oh my goodness. I told you, I don't always use the ones in the sheet. I come up with stuff as we go. So I did, um, a few months ago, I started, I did some behind the scenes stuff for UFC. Okay. And that was incredible. So I want to do more of it. I think they just haven't figured out 
what to do with me. Because okay. I'm like, I want to do everything but when they're in the octagon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dana White, if you're watching. Yeah. Or somebody who knows him, because I don't. Yeah. I just, you know what? It, it really is anybody who is looking to get that um, behind the scenes look. One of the things that I love about that work is my ability to sort of, you know, chameleon into the environment and that they forget that I'm there. So that's very cool. That's uh, that's not always the case. So right. so that's great. So tell us one more time. Tell UFC how they can find you so you can come do this behind the scenes stuff for them. That's right. So emilywilsonphotography.com and on Instagram, ewphoto. All right. Great. Well, thank you so much for being here today, Emily. Thank you for rolling up the punches and doing the whole show hey, with me today. My pleasure. So it was my pleasure uh, as well. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm Jason Leduc. This is Geeks Are Sexy. I'm from Evil Genius Leadership Consultant, so check us out. And we will see you next month. I don't remember the date. Look it up. Be back here fourth Friday next month. The future is out there. Lead the way. Bye.